This is a sponsored video by DaveDealer.com. New casinos and best bonuses. Everything in one place with my casino portal. It's a place to go where you can find all the best casinos and even the ones to avoid. It's a place where you can go to find all the best bonus deals and it's updated on a daily basis. It has a list of over 260 casinos. 300 bonuses and over 10,000 games and some of them you can even play for free without leaving the portal. This is your portal for all the best and worst sites. Check out the link in the video description below for more details. It's a great site. It amazes me how cheap these kits are getting nowadays. I have another condenser studio microphone set and it cost me round about £64 to buy and as always I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. This is sold by a company called Oo and I do believe that this is one of their new sets. So this is an XM900 microphone set and it comes with everything you need. It comes with the pop filter, comes with a shot mount, a foam filter to go on the end of your microphone, the arm, the clamp to go on the desk and of course a microphone and the cable and it even shows you the length of the cable so I don't have to measure it to tell you how long it is it actually tells you on the box which is 2.5 meters so what we're going to do we're going to have a quick look around the box do the unboxing do the installation and uh, set it all up so a quick look around the box there's an XLR microphone output you will need something called phantom power this is not a USB so you will need phantom power cable length it says boom arm stand included easy to set up they are easy to set up anyway cardinal polar pattern ultra low noise circuit design 16 millimeter mic capsule and full metal case so hopefully it should be crisp and clear on sound uh, look on the back so on the back gives you the dimensions I'm not going to go through it all I'm just going to let you pause the video now and we'll do the unpacking. So have a look to see what you get your money. So it looks like it comes with a thank you card. So I'm not going to read that out. So that's a little thank you card. Happy, need more help, shouldn't do anyway. Instructions, they should be quite basic really, just how to set it up and uh, probably give you some specs again I'm not going to bother reading that so first things first we have the pop filter and that feels quite nice double skin by the feel of it yeah it definitely feels like double skin the standard connection I've seen these on other microphone sets this is your phone filter again a standard sort of feel it feels a little bit different than the other ones actually move that out way and what do we have? This is your shock mount. Feels quite nice. No sharp edges, which is what I like. Your desk mount. Some Velcro. How many do you get? So you get two. Would have preferred four, but you get two. But never mind. This is your cable. So this should be a nice thick quality cable because it needs to shield against any outside interference and uh, yeah that feels quite nice see XLR connection that's what that is a three pin connection not like USB the point of this is you can extend the length of the cables without losing any quality of sound that is the idea behind it you can buy longer leads and is your arm it's not going to be the longest arm in the world you've got to bear in mind this is not a lot of money for this kit so yeah feels quite nice again doesn't feel like you've got any sharp edges yeah that feels quite nice that should do the job quite nicely and the microphone this is the baby we're interested in more than anything it's got a nice little weight to it it's not too heavy but it's got a nice weight to it again no sharp edges and it says ooh. I think that's how you pronounce it, ooh. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set it all up and uh, we're gonna have a listen to it.
Right, I've had to turn this down because it was on six and it's far too loud. So I've turned it down to about four. And that looks about right because you don't want it too loud because it will come out distorted. So uh, I don't know what the sound quality is like at the moment because obviously I haven't listened to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stand here for a few minutes and have a little chit chat. Tell you a little bit about it and then I'm going to get a bit closer and have another little chit chat and see if it's any good. So I'm just talking in my normal voice. So we had the pop filter on and we have the foam filter on as well and the shock mount and it was easy to set up. You have to bear something in mind. It is a budget kit. It is not an expensive kit. So you might find that it will pick up more noise than what you think it was going to. Like banging on the table. Because these arms are just basic arms. They're not nothing flash. They do the job and they're not very long but they're long enough as you can see i think they're long enough for whatever you want to do with it so you would have picked up noise from that me moving it about but you shouldn't be moving it about once you've got it in the right place so now i'm going to talk a bit closer and uh, i'm trying to look out see what the mic's coming up or the level and it doesn't look too bad it looks about a little bit higher but you know nothing extreme so pop filter yeah, it feels very nice actually the kit it looks nice don't forget if you're looking for an xlr kit you will have to buy um some way of connecting it because you will need an xlr connection like this little baby here this is my recorder and uh my recorder can do you know amazing things for recording sound it is it can do up to six individual devices it has four there two on each side and you can connect two more up there so it's very clever i like it a lot so yeah this is me talking extremely close now probably far too close for the mic but i just wanted to try and find out how it sounds and uh, you know just with a normal voice so what do i think for the amount of money you're paying and if it's your first xlr kit yes it is worth the money it is worth 60 or pound i think it's well worth the money it's a uh, Nothing fantastic on the arm quality, but then, you know, they have to try and save money somewhere. The lead or the cabling, it feels like very nice cabling. Hopefully it's well shielded. It does feel quite thick. And what's that say? High, high grade, low noise microphone cable. That's what it says on there. And you might even be picking that up when I'm moving that lead about. I'm not sure. But yeah cabling two and a half meters i thought was a good length as well uh i've got nothing bad to say about it like i said it is a budget one so if you want a longer arm you'd have to probably pay a bit more money to get a longer arm but it does what it does and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a listen to the sound myself and uh see what it sounds like and then i'll get back to you and see what i think of it it was easy to set up as you would expect anyway you put the clamp on the desk connect the arm and plug everything else in and hopefully everything will work just fine it needs phantom power like i said it needs 48 volts of phantom power so make sure you do your adjustments on your recorder or whatever device you're using you will need 48 volts of phantom power mine's all set up for that and I did have to turn down the uh, settings on my recorder because it was a bit loud. So I thought, I'd better turn it down. It's a bit loud. So I've got it on just under minus 10, which is probably about right acting, around that sort of thing. And maybe a little bit quiet, I'm not sure. But again, if you get closer to the mic, it should come up a bit louder anyway. And maybe even a bit uh, deeper, dare I say. But normally, you'd probably be about this distance. Don't forget, this is an XLR microphone and uh, hopefully the quality will be better than probably a usb and the idea of an xlr is it is built for quality and also for length so you can run a very long lead and hopefully you shouldn't lose a uh, quality of sound that is the idea behind xlr cabling and uh, yeah i like it i like the fact that you can do really long leads i'm not sure how long they can be but i know you can do long leads so, like I said, I'm going to have a listen to it myself, see what the quality of sound is like, and uh, I'll let you know what I think. At the moment, I'm pretty pleased. For the amount of money you're paying, 
you get in nearly everything you need to get going all they don't give you is a microphone or all they don't give you is a recorder so uh, give me a second I'll be back it was easy to set up as you would expect anyway come with a clamp to go on your desk and the arm and uh, I put the mic facing down rather than facing up it's entirely up to you which way round you have it but one thing to bear in mind make sure the microphone wording is facing towards you otherwise you will lose some of the quality of sound it will think you're far away and also it does state in the manual that you need 48 volts of phantom power which i've set it on there as 48 volts one thing to, i've done as well is i've adjusted the volume levels on the uh, recorder because when i first connected it, it was a bit loud so i turned it down slightly it is still a little bit loud i should turn it down a bit more ideally but i thought i'll give it a try see what it's like see how distorted it is when i go into my editing i will only adjust the volume levels if it's too high i will bring the volume levels down and vice versa if it's too low I will not do any bass treble or mucking about with any of the sound quality or any background noise. I will leave everything else in, but I wanted to see how good a quality it is, or hear how good a quality it is, I should say. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn the sound down or the recording level down just a little bit. It's on five at the moment on my recorder. I'm going to turn it down to four, so that is on four probably ideal place to have it i would have thought and uh i'm gonna get a bit close to the mic and say hello it should be a bit louder and maybe even a bit more bass so that is how that goes hopefully you can't hear no uh, hiss or any background noise it should be nice and clear i do like xlr microphones and um, i'm definitely going that way as you can see because the way it works it produces a better sound it reduces the risk of noise in the background because the cabling's a lot better and uh, it just if you want to run a longer cable you can you can run i'm not sure how far a cable can go but i've heard they do go quite a distance before you get any issues whatsoever so uh, I'm definitely going more and more XLR, but I will be testing, you know, other microphones in the future as well, you know, as soon as I can get hold of them. So uh, with that, what I'm going to do now is have a listen to it myself, and uh, I'll get back to you and let you know what I think. So what do I think? Yeah, I think it's worth the money. It comes with everything you need. It comes with the whole kit, like you would expect with something like this. And the sound quality, I think, is really good crystal clear that is what you're paying for mainly and of course a nice little kit to go with it so you can just bolt it to your desk like i've done so yeah it definitely gets my thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think whether you like it or not so uh, with that thank you very much for watching and uh if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe